Criticizing Tenobu on social media may end you free year jail time. Amnesty International speaks. Amnesty International has said critics of President Tenobu reached free year jail term as even as it condemns a fresh push for social media regulation by the All Progressive Congress led government. Explaining the implications of social media regulation in a series of tweets on Sunday, the Human Rights Organization said the social media regulation law keenly pushed by Nigerian politicians is to subject to vague and broad interpretation and will impose incredibly harsh punishments simply for criticizing the authorities. The social media regulation Amnesty International said social media users will be punished for freely expressing their opinions. The government can officially shut down the internet and limit access to social media, criticizing the government to be punishable with penalties of up to three years in prison. On Friday, the People's Gazette reported that the Human Rights Organization identified as Sada Sadi, an old progressive Congress lawmaker from Kastana State, as the brain behind the reintroduction of the law. This comes shortly after Mr. Tenembo's chief of staff, Femi Bajabiamila, called for social media reg regulation, describing it as a social menace amidst public outrage, sparked by economic hardship and insecurity. Social media has become societal menace and must be regulated. As many people do not understand that once the send button is hit, there is a potential to reach millions of people around the world which is capable of causing great danger not just in society but causing great danger but causing great danger not just in society but even unintended consequences to the individuals that are receiving the information which may include security of life said Mr. Bajabiamila. Mr. Bajabiamila came under attack after the comment with some Nigerians asking the government to tackle insecurity, poverty and hunger aggravated by the government policies. The move to regulate social media comes amid criticisms of Mr. Tunumbu's government under or over economic hardship as inflation drives food prices up astronomically. Over the years, Nigerians have been used. Over the years, Nigeria have used social media for national discourse, ventilate views, and mobilize protests and criticize politicians and government policies. A bill proposed to regulate social media. Under Mr. Tunumbu, under Mr. Tunumbu's predecessor, former President Muhammad Buhari failed as Nigerians pushed back, fearing it would be used to gag the freedom of speech. So what are they saying? Inside of it, would they go on and make them make them bring out law so that somebody will not be able to speak freely? I don't have anything to say for now. Make that useless army a policeman come arrest me. Since soon we believe when they steal and share small for them, they can send them nonsense errand. Let them come and fully prepared for them. Fake info. Readers should disregard this. And if it is true that the Tunibu governments mustn't be criticized, it will mean Nigeria is in mess. Who can or had criticized any government in power more than Tunibu himself in Nigeria? Buhari was a good critic before he became president. Still now he became ruler. He plans to send his critics to jail, which shows the wicked rulers intentionally are victimizing their agents, their citizens. Then the useless government must be ready to arrest and send everyone to prison. As for me, you, I will never stop criticizing this government until it stops following the lawlessness in this country. What a lawless bala, bala bomb and a local set of animals in Abada. God will polish all your ah, ah, he. Even American president is being criticized on a daily basis. Why not talk about not having steady power supply generator or public? I'm a full member of Amnesty International. They proceeded for such action. The fact that one lawmaker won't propose it does not make it a final decision. Okay? I love these people. You don't even know what they're doing. Tunumbu thinks change of military of chiefs and other department makes him a free person. <laughs> the time will come when not is about to go down. And this country, Nigeria, it will be a Guinness world. I swear down. What happened to Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, and Gibbon are small to compare to what will happen in Nigeria? It will shock you politicians. A day will come where you cannot come out here anywhere and identify yourself as a political mark. 
as a politician, mark my words. So, Amnesty International, why you, do you allow your fellow Nigerian to cripple into this extent? Where were you when INEC and the judiciary turned Nigerians' election into selection? You have not received your salary. Have you guys started? I'm waiting for a useless government without brain to come and arrest me. Amnesty International, so now here on the compass, I be okay. Now we go see how many people you and your Tunubu go fit arrest. In fact, now God and devil go join hands together, take punish that your Tunubu. Now make on a conquering me first before any other person. Idiot is a best friend doing well. Now him, Nigerians they bully him. I be him, now the first president to be bullied. But now no go banned, go Facebook, go Instagram, TikTok, and also bloggers. Or more people why on a logo arrest these Nigerians with their abroad talk. Allah wa. Remember there's always a way when the law comes back to vitiate his initiators. History is repeated without the rise and ruins of powers. And of course our life is just ephemeral. Amnesty International has become a lame dog to the APC instead of eating anything. Amnesty International has become a lame dog to the APC instead of saying any Nigerian government official that deep his seats or hands into the Nigerian cookie jars must face capital sentence or firing squad to serve as a deterrent to other people. Other upcoming thieves. Jesus Christ was criticized by the freaks, needless of mortal being abusing Nigerians. Anyway, capital have long been abolished by this same toothless amnesty, local, not even international. Tumi should be jailed at first because he insulted the past government, so he speed off what he has done in the past. More is still coming. He should rather face the economic situation of the country before the very Nigeria under its hardship. No matter how powerful you are, all power can be. Remember, when you pushed the dog to the wall and cannot speak, the dog will face you and the leaders will be using their power for now, but the time is coming when one day will be one day. Go market it or not. Monkey will go market it, no go return. We are waiting for the imprisonment. I need their direct handle. The direction not only be arrest, she be them. Go go ahead and arrest of the brothers. Really desperate too. <laughs> The fact that the country is not in flames with this degree of hardship doesn't mean Nigerians are fools, but I surely know that there is an end to everything. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for. Turn it into a lesson until I come your way next time. Enjoy.